Into you did it, didn't you? Did what? You offed him all, George. He was here, sitting right here in this chair. Get out. And he opened a jar of Howlett's pickles, a gift from his loving wife. Oh. So where are the pickles? Where is the body? You see what I mean? Things don't add up. You're crazy. If you don't get out now, I'm calling the police. What did he put in these things? Some kind of poison? You're insane. A lunatic. My husband went out for a stroll. Without his and clothes. And you wash away in here with some wild, paranoid fantasy about... Wait a minute. A second ago, you came on to me. You knew he wasn't coming back tonight. Let go of me. You bastard, I'll kill you! Oh, really? <gasps> like you kill him? <laughs> How? With this? Oh, Let's open it, shall we? Get a taste of what's inside. No, God, no, please. God! Come on, Ed. Just a whiff. It's not going to kill you. Yes. Yes, it will. You're right. It is the jar. There's this thing inside, some kind of monster. I gave it to him, but I didn't know it. I swear. I, I thought it was preserved, and then this thing flew out, and God, it was horrible. <gasps> oh, you're a good, Angel. You're real good. You should go to hell with an Oscar. All right. I killed him. I planned it. I did it, and I'm glad. Are you satisfied? He was a monster. The things he did to me. I hated him. I hated him and he knew it. But I couldn't leave him. I was too afraid. He swore to me that if I ever tried to leave him, he would do things to me so that no other man would ever want me. And I do need a man. A real man. So much. If you knew when I saw you how much I wanted you. 